40 million buyers in the, in the Arab world that are making purchases uh, online. Uh, we have a millennial, 50% uh, of the Arab world are millennials, so they're, they, they're, their definition of financial products are very different than the definition of uh, my financial product definition or my, my parents' definition of a financial product. So the, 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 the consumer behavior is, is changing. With on-demand economy also, the expectation is changing as well. Fintech is obviously a very new space, uh, and I think all the kind of um, a lot of people are using it as buzzwords. But I think the actual implementations of the startups are real. So the way I see it is that it's infrastructure that will enable a whole new generation of fintechs um, that are able to, you know, reach masses. Being in fintech in the MENA region is obviously phenomenally exciting. If you look at the market that we can capture, um, $100 billion US is remitted by the GCC every year. Um, so that's a pretty phenomenal market compared to anything else. Everything starts with the payment. I have to pay you for a subscription or I have to collect money and then I have to pay a merchant. So, so the wealth transfer is the foundation of fintech. What we see is that uh, what I tell our team members that today we are the plumbers, we're the ones connecting everyone, all the banks and, and payment methods and the, in, throughout the region, in order for the innovators to come and innovate on the platform that we've, that we've built. I see a lot of potential in the small and medium businesses and getting them to embrace newer technology. And for me, that's the most exciting part. Um, as from a pure fintech play, because we are more of a working capital sort of a play, um, again, I see the biggest value being in SMEs using technology to actually push themselves forward and actually starting to compete with some of the bigger guys um, just because of better processes. Don't give up, keep at it, try to growth hack it. Don't try to solve all the problems. Don't try to optimize everything from day one. Ideally, you want to work with a bank, you want to be there last mile, you want to prove that. But that's what businesses are all about, right? That's how all the big companies in the world grow. They start with an idea and then you get traction and then you get the uh, optimization later on and then the profitability after that.